Burbank and beyond.com. On July 8th, 1911, the city of Burbank was incorporated. Burbank used to be full of cantaloupes. Who wrote this speech? I'm not going to do that. I have something much more fun planned. So I need an assistant for this. Staff is not knowing what I'm going to do, so I need Joy Forbes up here. Audience participation, I know you're all dying to pull out your cell phones, so do that now. And get your stopwatch feature, because I'm going to spend a minute per department. When I get to your department, stand up so we all know who you are in that department. If you don't like them, you may throw things at them. If you like them, be cool. So when I mention your department, we're going to acknowledge the community, the uh, leaders of those departments and all their staff. So if you're in that department, stand up and you can be acknowledged. You don't have to clap or anything because I have limited time a minute per department. So keep the clapping in your head. So Joy is going to give me the uh, Joy, Assistant City Manager. Woo! Where's your phone? Girl, don't follow instructions. I said, come up here with the phone. And she walked up here without a phone. <laughs> That's our city staff. No, I'm just kidding. They're all great. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're all wonderful. You know I love you all. <laughs> Go. All right. First, I'm going to talk about the PIO department. The PIO department is headed up by Keith Sterling. He has a very small department. They put on this fantastic video that you saw today, all the videos in the city that you see. They also tape the city council meetings, um, help the teens in action do all their programs. In addition to all the film work that they do, they also put together the fantastic award-winning website. So I don't know if you know that, but the city of Burbank won an award for their website. So if you go to that website, you can thank Keith with his uh, leadership. He's been in the city about a year and a half now and has done a fantastic job. He handles all of our press releases in the city, all of the media that goes out in the city. He coordinates all the newsletters from all the different departments. And Keith's goal is to get all of that coordinated under one umbrella so that the city sort of has a cohesive theme and that everybody kind of knows the city of Burbank themes. He's working on a, a new logo for the city. So if you're from Warner Brothers or Disney or any other place that does Woodbury uh, logos, then we're going to be looking to you to get some help to design a new logo. So as you heard earlier, um, I'm the mayor of the city of Burbank. And we also have our other council members here. We have Gary Brick. We have Jess Talamante. I'm supposed to stand up when I'm talking about your department. I don't know what's up with the instructions with these people. Just Talamante, stay up, stay up while I'm talking about your department and sit down. It's a game, people. And um, so we've got, let's see, Dr. Gordon and Dave Galonsky. Uh, the government system that we have in this city is managed by a city manager. The city council makes policy decisions. So that's what we vote on every Tuesday for many hours. So, um, and if you care to hang around and watch it, that's what we're doing. So the city manager is tasked with actually uh, fulfilling the policy and making sure that each department, if it involves them, is going to fulfill that policy. And when I get to departments, you're going to hear about some of the policy decisions that have made the city of Burbank. So the city manager is our city manager. He has two deputy uh, assistants. That's Joy Forbes up here with the stop clock, and Justin Hess is standing right there. And uh, they have a wonderful staff who keeps this, the wheels of the city council and the city managers uh, going. And <laughs> Okay, we have Donna Anderson here, and she is our, uh, one of our other elected officials. She is our city treasurer. She makes sure that the city stays in good fiscal condition. She watches all of the investments that we have. Uh, Burbank is in pretty good financial shape right now because historically Burbank has had pretty conservative fiscal policies, which has benefited us now. So in these tough times, we're making interest off of our interests, and Donna makes sure that she moves money around when it needs to be uh, moved around. She, um, we're, some of our loans are low interest bonds, and she's on top of that every day. So that office also very small, run by Donna and just a couple of other people. And she also has um, a, an advisory board consisting of two city council members also. Okay, management services. We have Judy Wilkie here and a bunch of people from management services. Stand up. There's some here in the front table that don't want to stand up. <laughs> stand up. So Judy Wilkie is the department head. Uh, she is assisted uh, by Betsy Dolan over there. So if you watched our council meeting last night, Betsy gave the presentation. We've got um, a bunch of employees in that department. What management services does, they are an inner city department. So they manage uh, payroll and personnel issues within the city. So if there are problems, um, they are going to handle it. They are going to do any ADA requirements for any of the employees in the city. Um, they handle empl all employment issues. And that's basically what they do. They're, they're our HR department. Okay, that moves me on to financial services. And I know we have Cindy Giraldo here. She's our new, yeah, and the whole department over there. So she's our uh, new kid on the block. She's only been with us a few months. And Cindy comes uh, uh, from um, 
ticket, uh, ticket master, that's who she used to work for. So she comes from the private sector and now she's decided to get her feet wet in the uh, public sector by handling our uh, financial services office. Okay, city attorney's office. I'm Dennis Barlow here. We have a wonderful city attorney's office. It looks like he's the only one here, so I thought things would be getting thrown at this point. Okay. <laughs> Dennis has been in the city attorney's office a long time. He's got 11 attorneys that work for him. Those attorneys take care of the city's internal business as well as handling prosecutions in the city of Burbank. So when the Burbank Police Department hands out a ticket, they end up going across the street to the courthouse. And uh, so they process those. They have some prosecutors. Uh, there's public defenders in there. So they do criminal work. They do civil work on behalf of the city that if uh, the city has a claim against someone and uh, gets a money judgment, they go out there and recover that for us. Okay, library services, Sharon Cohen is here. Sharon, there she is. <laughs> and, uh, and, and some people from the library. So uh, oh, Sharon's primary goal, and she's not shy about it, has been to get a new public library up there in Glen Oaks. And I'm sure all of you have visited the beautiful Buena Vista Library, quite a success story. And what's going on in these tough economic times is that people are using that library because it's free. Uh, they have a lot of services. You can rent videos, you can get books. There's activities on a weekly basis for children and teens. Public Works, Bonnie Tiford is here. Who's in front of Public Works? They're our favorite, because when you flush the toilet, it goes bye-bye because of them. <laughs> we love them. <laughs> Bonnie shaking her head and cheering, yeah. So public works is what it sounds like. Uh, they, they have very enthusiastic sewer departments, so if you have any issues with your sewer, they are most happy to talk to you about your sewer and your flowage and all that kind of stuff. They fill the potholes in our town. If you drive over a pothole and are annoyed, pick up the phone and call uh, Bob Kramer and Public Works will be out there within about 24 hours to fill that pothole. Parks, Recreation and Community Services. Let's see who's here. Is Doss here? Mr. Dusty's busy, I guess, but look at all, he's uh, ably represented by all these wonderful parks and rec uh, people. I see Gwen over there, and I see that whole table over there. So um, parks and recreation uh, is what you would expect parks and recreation to do. They handle all the sports activities in our community, organize games, do all that sort of stuff, but they also do a lot more than that. They do a lot of social services. The Parks and Recreation Department uh, is in charge of the Jocelyn Center so that we feed seniors every day and have senior activities. In addition to that, we have teen programs where we're mentoring teams uh, teens and doing all kinds of program with them. So this is our community development department. And other department in the city where you think, what's, what's community development? Well, they do a lot of different things. They do our license and code. They do our planning. Uh, they do our economic development in the city. They do a broad range of things. Uh, and what's great about that department is uh, many cities you go in and you don't have a face that you can attach to your planning work or getting your license. And here, if you're trying to build something or get something approved, you can walk in and you'll see the same person every time. And the reason business likes to come to Burbank is because of that department. Uh, we support business very strongly and uh, we make it easy for you to open a business in Burbank by giving you some concessions. Uh, the planning phase is very simple. You can get your business up and running pretty quickly compared to LA, which may take 18 months to two years in our planning department you can get something up and running in as little as three months so you know why we have so many businesses uh, moving to Burbank okay water and power BWP I know mr. Davis is here and there's his whole department now the BWP uh, another great department and um, are working very hard to uh, fulfill the council's goals of sustainability and uh, water reduction and the city of Burbank has done a great job in de decreasing their water consumption uh, it's going to be mandated at some point what we cut our water usage to, but uh, Burbank has already done it. We've met those goals. So we're being very aggressive in meeting those goals so that we have enough water for our business and for the residents of the community. So the BWP stands behind uh, recycled water. Uh, they handle the um, cleaning of our water, and uh, you know we're trying to store enough water to keep us going in emergency, and we do have emergency waters available. We still have some of the cleanest water that you can get out of any public utility. And we have our own utility, which is really good. The Burbank Police Department, we continue to be very proud of this police department. In the city of Burbank, it's no joke. You know, if you jaywalk, five cars are going to come and, and give you a ticket. And I know everybody... <laughs> It isn't a joke because you go, what's going on over there? I don't know, somebody spit out gum or something. It's like a lot of cars for that. But our response time in the city of Burbank is just over three minutes. I think it's about three minutes and 16 seconds, somewhere along those lines. So that is amazing. You call LAPD, you're lucky if they come 24 hours later. So here in the city of Burbank, you all know if you've ever called the police here, they are there instantly. And that is number one of the number one things that people love about this town is that our police are so responsive and they're right there. Fire department. 
Ray Krakowski, our fire chief, and there's some of his people over there. So our, yay. <laughs> That's Sana. She used to be in the city manager's office, but she defected over there. More hunks over there, I guess. <laughs> no offense, Mike. <laughs> So the fire department continues to be also like the police department. Great response time out there, so caring for the community. I see them out and about in uh, places buying their food, picking up food, and talking to the community when they're out there. They are right on top of our emergency preparedness and are partnering with many people in this room, and thank you all for that. St. Joseph's, Warner Brothers, all those people we mentioned in the video. Oh, IT, yes, Jennifer, Jennifer Wyatt. I actually have it written here too, IT. There she is. It's a little department. <laughs> IT, <laughs> what it sounds like, the, the computer geek. There she is. So, <laughs> we have a lot of computers in this city, and we're continually updating those computers and making sure that we are up to date on that. And as you can see from the video, we're laying down that uh, black microfiber wire so that this whole city can be completely uh, wireless at some point. And Jennifer is always working very hard to make sure that the city is up to date and that we are doing the best that we can. Oh, city clerk Margarita, my, my good friend, there she is. Actually, I have it written, I just, I'm just not looking at my notes, I'm relying on my memory. So Margarita is our city clerk, another elected official, and the city clerk's office, uh, we have an upcoming election, there she is. So if you're gonna run for city council and bump somebody off, then you're gonna bring your paperwork to her. <laughs> <laughs> And in addition to all the elections, which is monumental uh, task, uh, getting the election stuff together, Margarita also handles all the paperwork. After the city makes policy decisions, resolutions are written up. Um, they're signed off on by the uh, appropriate person, and then Margarita is the one who catalogs those and puts those into storage. Okay, I think I've hit all the departments. I want to talk about a couple other things. I want to talk about PBIDs. So what a PBID is, is a property-based um, improvement district. And we have a couple of those in Burbank, and those are put together by private business owners who agree by vote to have an extra tax imposed on their property to be put back into um, the city, essentially. And what they do is they support business by doing projects. Uh, the, P the downtown PBID has bought decorations, doing things to bring people into the city of Burbank. Not only people who live in the city of Burbank, but people outside of the city of Burbank. The Magnolia PBID is another very successful PBID. And uh, people are just um, coming like bees to honey as far as business is concerned. And Magnolia Park continues to open, I think, about a business a week. And the goal of the, those business owners down there is to kind of turn it into a mini Melrose. So if you haven't been down there, go look, because there are lots of new shops there, lots of activity. They're doing a uh, last Friday ladies' night out where you get discounts and food um, on all of their product. So these, these, these little groups of people are working very hard to stimulate the economy in Burbank and bring people here. So I'm very proud of the people bids and the work that they do and then they do that in, uh, in conjunction with Gail Stewart who is our city person who heads up all these things. All right, now I'm going to take questions. That was a smooth ending, huh? I'm dead. <laughs> That's a lot of information. Remarks, I'm wondering when you'll be appearing at Flappers Comedy Club. <laughs> been there already <laughs> but they didn't ask me to do any stand-up so <laughs> I haven't worked on that Peggy yell just yell time's a wasting people when is the next art festival? it is going to be next weekend okay Karen Volpe has a question I wish I got paid that much that's what I, I wish <laughs> those are my thoughts <laughs> Why do I live in Burbank? I could have lived in Bell. Um, <laughs> and I'd be in jail. Oh, fun. <laughs> um, uh, seriously, my thoughts are, you know, corruption is never good anywhere. And the more transparent a city is, the better it is. Th that's why we have everything on our website. You want to find out how much money we make? I'll tell you now, $1,076.53 a month, and we all make the same amount of money. Um, and uh, you can see any salary in the city if you go on the internet. So I think transparency, of course, is, is the secret. Because apparently in Bell, their salaries were a secret, and the people that were there really didn't know it. Here, really very little secret. So if it's not on the internet, I mean, if it's not on the website, it is on the internet. So, um, you know, word travels very fast. That's what I love about this town, and sometimes it's a little annoying, but word travels in this town in about five minutes, what's going on? So, uh, if anybody was trying to hide the ball, uh, you know, you'd be the first to find out about it, at least financially. And you know, we do have these departments segregated, so we've got the treasurer's office over here, we've got the finance office over here. So there's always checks and balances.